uh, for those of you who are returning, welcome back. And those of you who are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, this is the lifestyle page. I am focusing on hair right now, and then we're going to start doing a little bit of more uh, girl fun. Uh, so this is my first time straightening my hair, as you can tell from the title, in a year and a half. And I'm going to show you guys the safest way to do so. So actually right now, my hair is freshly washed with a little bit of leave-in uh, that I use to do a deep conditioning. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips, but I was looking crazy, so I didn't want that to be my main focus on the video. But basically what I did is, um, yesterday, Friday night, I did a oil treatment, left it in my hair for a few hours while I did some errands, was supposed to go to the gym, didn't do that, instead went to a Korean barbecue with my hair and band two knots. But, um, so I did an oil treatment, I'll list down below exactly the oils that I used for the oil treatment. Uh, when I came back from my errands, I washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner. I'll show you guys also a clip of the shampoo conditioner that I use. To wash my hair, I use this Alba Botanica Hawaiian shampoo. This is coconut milk mega moisture, um, and it has no parabens, 100% vegetarian ingredients. And this smells so good. Mm. Then, to condition, I did not use the matching conditioner. What I use is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mofora Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner. Um, this will give you all the hydration you need, but because we want to protect our curls, we're gonna go the extra mile and do a deep condition too. So that's why my hair is in this thing right now. I'm actually gonna braid it in two um, while I sleep, but it is it does have a deep conditioner in it. So I just wanna also share with you guys the deep conditioning I use, which is called the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning uh, Repair Cream. So I uh, put so much of this in my hair and I'm going to braid it, but before I braid it, I'm just going to, which I'm not gonna do on camera, but I'm going to add some oil to my wet hair with the um, with the deep conditioning. So conditioner. This morning I rinsed it out my hair and added just a little bit more as a leave-in and let my hair air dry. I also added some of this oil here, and this I will also. Um, list down below as well as put a link in with me putting some of this in my hair actually no I didn't I didn't record that part either way it's just oil I'll list down the type of oils and why it's good for your hair um, in the description box below um, basically the point of this video is for us curly girls we tend to have drier hair and I want it to be where we can straighten our hair once in a blue and not say I'm, I'm going on straight I'm not straightening my hair and instead, see, I hope my glasses aren't dirty. They are, whatever. Um, and instead, just say, you know, I'm gonna show you my hair once or twice a year. For me, it's the max is gonna be twice a year because I have really dry hair. Um, I'm actually really surprised at my my curls today because all it is is just a leave-in and some oil, very little leave-in and some oil. And I woke up, I let it air dry, and this is it. But I'm straightening it. So. I will be right back and I'm going to show you guys what I'm using. I'm going to be using a blow dryer, a flat iron, and some heat protectant, as well as some anti-frizz secret from Tresemme and some no frizz ultra light shine spray. These are going to be towards the end of my um, straightening my hair routine. So I hope you guys are as, as, as excited as I am. Sorry, sometimes I get a little nervous and I start stumbling over my words, but you guys get what I'm saying. So, stay tuned.
just want to give you guys a couple of tips. Uh, the first tip is to use more of the blow drying heat rather than the flat iron heat only because the flat iron heat is more direct heat on your hair. So basically we want to avoid too much heat damage. Heat is heat. You're putting heat on your hair, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna do something towards it, but we're trying to avoid too much damage. Um, also, another tip is when applying heat to your hair, apply more heat towards the ends of your hair rather than the roots because the roots is fresh hair. It's new hair and it's always growing. You don't want to burn that hair. The tips you can always cut if you're going to be straightening your hair often. I won't, so I don't think I will experience those problems, but that's a good tip. Also, who cares about a little frizz or a little, um, you know, a little... A little roughness at the top at your roots, only because that that creates a uh, a little bit more volume. And who doesn't want vol voluminous volume, voluminous hair? We all want big hair, so we a little frizz up at top. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this. final look I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I'm gonna list everything down below and please if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any questions and thank you so much I hope you like the look and I hope this information is useful